Hola, buenos dias, good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard, the planning diva. And it is another weekend full of planning and filming for me. So I am on cloud nine. I'm here with my home life planner, my thick and juicy home life planner in her Halloween finery. I've been loving seeing these bad bitches on my cover. Um, and and today I need to set up my November um, my November section or my month of November my November in my home life planner right now I have um, Disney's farmhouse um, dashboard sheets in here and I think I'm gonna stick with the dashboard but I think I'm gonna change up this cover I think I'm going to um, go with my um, cheerful seasons or seasonal vertical divider vertical planner divider I mean there's so many adjectives to describe planners and planner formats I sometimes get tongue-tied but I think I'm gonna go with this um, divider at first I wasn't really feeling it and that's why I took it like I took it off and I ended up going with this dashboard instead but um, the more that I look at this divider the less I like it and also I am really inspired with what I did with October's divider using scrapbook paper and you know stickers to zhuzh things up a little bit. I think I'm gonna do the same thing with this divider. I already have some scrapbook paper that I've pulled from a fall um, scrapbook paper pack and I also have these really fun Thanksgiving stickers which I actually got last year and oops one fell out and i never ended up using them and so these are really eh, really really fun stickers and i feel like i'm going to have a lot of fun um yeah getting some use out of these Ooh, the little cornucopia oh my goodness how cute yeah okay we're gonna definitely get into these stickers but uh, i'm gonna be setting up november here um maybe putting down some boxes for you know the things i've already started to plan and also setting up the first week i think in this um in this month so if any of that sounds interesting to you then just stick around and keep on watching First thing is first, I am going to glue these together because I want to keep the, um, the monthly view from the farmhouse because it's pretty neutral and because I am a little bit tired of the colorful like spine on these dividers I dealt with it last month as you can see here I have that colorful spine here I mean I can always cover it up oops but um, uh, I just kind of want something a little bit different, a little bit more neutral. So we're gonna go with this Disney Farmhouse Divider and see how it turns out. So, ah! Oh no, did I finish? Yeah, I finished my combo adhesive. Oh no, I've already uh, gone through like three of these things this month, so. Bugs. Do you hear him barking in the background? It's, it's so annoying sometimes. Now we're good to go. We have a new adhesive um, all nicely packaged in there. Okay, let me stick these together. It's always such like a delicate thing to stick these two sheets together because you have to line up all of the holes really, really nicely. And ah, I kind of, I kind of made it a little bit 
um, a crooked, but in these cases, I just trim, I just trim the little white that's showing. And honestly, I probably shouldn't even do this because I'm gonna add even more scrapbook paper on top of this. So yeah, let's just ignore it for now. But the idea I think that I'm gonna go with is I'm gonna do that same thing where I'm gonna add um, like little pieces of scrapbook paper to the four corners and kind of surround the little image here in the center. And I might even add like a turkey or this cornucopia here. Do you think it would look good if I added it um, on top of the scrapbook paper or is that too busy? You see what I'm saying? Oh, I really like this turkey here. It's so cute, but I feel like it's a little bit too big. It's so cute though. What if I just, <laughs> that'd be too much. What if it's like, uh, I'd hate to cut it off though. Mm, yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work. I think the turkey is a little too big. But I really like the cornucopia here, so I'm thinking maybe of only adding scrapbook paper to um, like the, these three corners maybe and then just uh, or maybe I should just put like scrapbook paper at the top here and then the cornucopia here in the corner and then um, should I put the turkey? <laughs> Is that too much? I think that might be too much. I don't know if I should do that. Ooh, what about this up here? Oh, there's so many like good stickers. It's kind of hard to, to pick and choose. What about that? I feel like that might be too much. Maybe just a few stickers here and there. Um, okay, so first things first. Let me cut out some corners here. Um, something like... And then I'll rip like the edges of it so that it looks nice and distressed. That's what we have so far. I'm gonna rip it just a little bit more because um, some of the icons aren't showing through. So maybe something like this. And you know what? I'm thinking maybe of using a different scrapbook paper um, for this corner. What do you think? Do you think that would be kind of cute? Um, yeah, let's try it. I'll cut out another corner piece, like so. Let's just try it. Yeah, it looks cute. I kind of like the look of two different scrapbook papers. Um, just because I don't want to make it look exactly like the October one. I want to try something a little bit different. So yeah, something like this. <gasps> That's so cute. Okay, I'm really liking that. Um, and then maybe like something like this. What if I put the turkey? <laughs> I'm obsessed with the turkey. I feel like the turkey would look so cute. I mean, it's covering up like um, a leaf with its head, but that might be okay, honestly something like this Ugh, this looks so cute the little corn sticker oh that'd be so cute maybe like okay then maybe that's too much maybe i'm going like way too hard right now but you know i can't help myself i'm a bit of a maximalist what about like right here like this little corn sticker or is that too much you know, I just, I just love, um, I just love stickers. I just want to put every single one on this page, but I got to practice restraint. I really have to. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else I have. I have a pumpkin, a, another gourd. Maybe, maybe I'll put like one there. Do you think that's way too much? <laughs> it probably is, but honestly, I don't care. So... You know, like Nina Bonina Brown said, sue me. What about this little corn guy? Um, and then I could put this here and then maybe like that up there. <gasps> I love it. I love it. I love it. Maybe something like, like this. I'll just pooch this little turkey to the edge. I think this is it. I think this is the move, y'all. <laughs> I think this is what's gonna happen. Okay, so let's, let's glue these um, scrapbook papers down with my fresh Tombow adhesive. And if my pug does not calm down, I'm gonna go out there and 
and um, get mad at him. Um, well, I, I mean, not get mad at him because he's just he's just playing around. But I might have to distract him a little bit so that mommy can film YouTube videos. Perfect, perfect. And we're gonna lay down the cornucopia first. So I'll peel off this backing. These stickers are amazing, and you can still get this sticker pack at Michael's. And I remember, like, I bought them, and then I totally forgot that I bought them. <laughs> and so then I just had them hanging around for a whole year. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. And then I just have to use this turkey because he's so fabulous. And I feel like he deserves to be on the cover of November, so... We're gonna go ahead and put him on the cover. Like, he deserves that. This turkey. Oh, yes. And I know it's a he because male turkeys have this, like, fantastic, um, like, tail display, right? Am I right? Let me know if I'm right. <laughs> this has to be a male, you know, that sexual selection. Yes. You can take a biologist out of the lab, but you can't take the lab out of the biologist. Okay, here's the question of the day. Should I use the thankful or should I do happy Thanksgiving? And I think I'm gonna go with the happy Thanksgiving because it already says thankful there on the divider. And you wanna know something funny? I actually don't really celebrate Thanksgiving too much. Like I don't have, um, like I don't, I don't have like a huge family gathering. I, I actually have a very small family here in the United States. And the family that I do have, like my immediate family, um, they work in the restaurant business. And so they're always working like Thanksgiving and holidays in general, they're always working. And so we tend to like celebrate our holidays, like kind of offset from everyone else. Um, like we tend to celebrate like the weekend before or the week after, or like a couple days before or after. And it's just, you know, it's just something that I've kind of gotten used to. And with COVID, like Friendsgiving has been kind of hard to plan, but maybe this year we'll, we'll put something together. I really like this corn here. It's so cute. Should I put the corn here and then this guy here? Maybe like this. Or should I put this guy up here? Okay, so I think I'm gonna put the corn here. I kind of like it here and then this leaf there and then maybe a leaf here or should i put a pumpkin up here like this and then a leaf there is that too much maybe an acorn is that too much <laughs> oh my goodness y'all tell me if this is too much i really like this pumpkin here is that too much oh my goodness maybe the corn up here no, I like the corn over here. Maybe this big old white pumpkin here. No, that's way too big. How about this gourd right here? Is that too much? This like gourd here? Is that too much? What about this? Is that is that too much? <laughs> oh my god, I want to put everything on this um, spread here. What about this huge acorn? What about this pumpkin? What if I layer these two gourds like right here? Is that too much? Like something like this. I actually kind of like that look. Ooh, I kind of like that. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I think this is what it's gonna what's gonna happen, y'all. I think I've decided. Um, I'm gonna layer those two gourds there in the corner. I'm gonna put this maple leaf down here in this little um, gap right there. This corn guy is going to be right here on the left. Um, maybe something like, like that. And then this little acorn I'm going to pop right here on top of the corn. Um, something like that. Ooh, I love it so much. It looks like just one big cornucopia. And I'm going to really try to practice gratitude this month. Um, you know, I, I think I'm pretty good at practicing gratitude, but you can always be better. And I think it's just like such a good habit to be in, to just be like grateful for all the bountiful harvests that, that, that one has. So... Um, something like this, like that. Very cool. 
and I think we are good to go. I love it so much. So let me grab my, um, well actually, you know what? I guess I could grab my crocodile. So y'all, I got a crocodile, finally, I finally got a crocodile. I have been wanting one of these for forever. And I actually had $15 of rewards in Michael's and a 40% off coupon. And so I went ahead and um, picked up this crocodile and ooh, it's so much fun. Wow, this is really interesting. So I ended up paying a little over $3 for this crocodile. And I was just waiting um, for like a 40% off and some rewards because yeah, these things can be expensive. And so I can't believe that I managed to um, get this for such a good deal. Perfect. Okay, I probably should have just used my like um, Happy Planner punch, but for it to do that many holes, but I wanted to test out that crocodile. So, and it works perfectly. I love it. Okay, there is my divider <gasps> and it is gorgeous. I love it so much. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I'm so happy I used the turkey and the cornucopia because these were my two favorite stickers and I really wanted to use them. Oh my gosh, I just, I'm in love. I'm in love with this. Okay, the next thing that I want to do is set up the November monthly and then, um, let's see, I haven't even thought about what I want to do with this November monthly. I kind of want to add some scrapbook paper here at the top. This section always kind of like stresses me out. I always feel like it's way too blank and it really could benefit from some nice designs. So I think I'm gonna grab this sticker, I mean this scrapbook paper. And where is my ruler? I need to measure how much, how tall this top portion is. It's about an inch and two, an inch and one. No, I'll do an inch and one. It's an inch and one. So let's see. Let's map that out real quick. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is replace these sticky notes with actual boxes because I like, you know, writing things down as things happen earlier in the previous month, like in October as November starts, you know, mapping itself out. I do like to drop down some boxes and, you know, make sure that it's in my calendar, it's in my monthly, I'm aware of it. But I also know that I'm really, really finicky and I like to switch up my months and so i don't want to like commit to a month until like that month is right around the corner like for example i didn't um like i thought i was gonna use that farmhouse um cover or divider but as you can see i switched it up to this one and so um, that's why i try not to commit to anything right before but i also want to make a note of all the things that i want to do in that month so um, the happy medium there is to use sticky notes to just write down you know things that are happening and that way i can like have them in my in my calendar but i also don't have to commit to them right away and I was going to look for boxes here from my Disney seasonal, but I don't really see any boxes that I want to use. I'm going to keep this handy though because I do want to um, pull for those stickers. I think I'm going to go with my trusted Mojo Jojo plans sticker book and we're going to replace all these sticky notes with actual sticker boxes. So. And then my sister is coming to visit um, from the second, no, the first through the ninth. Okay, my sister is arriving from the first through the seventh. So I'm gonna use my little washi tape to kind of mark that out. Okay, I think she leaves Tuesday. I'm gonna double check on that, but I think she leaves Tuesday. And then my sister-in-law, my sister's wife arrives on 
Friday. So let me find a box for that. So on Friday, my sister-in-law arrives. On Saturday, we're planning on going camping. We shall see if it happens because sometimes plans change, but okay, camping. Let me check in my perpetual calendar if there's anything else going on in November. Oh, my mom's birthday. My mom's birthday is on the 14th. So I'm gonna grab a box for that. Okay, on the 14th. And then, oh, my friend's birthday is on the 29th. So I'm gonna grab a box for that. 29th and also i think i am going to fly to texas to visit my partner on let's see i think what i'm gonna do is fly out so i think i'm gonna fly out friday night and then we're actually gonna drive back to california together so we're gonna leave saturday morning drive all the way to um white sands national park in new mexico um, probably spend Sunday there and then drive the rest of Sunday, a couple hours Sunday and then probably all of Monday to get back to California on a Tuesday. So that's going to be a really fun road trip. So I'm going to put a sticker box here to kind of mark the end of the road trip and I'm going to grab um, some washi tape. This is from Cafecito Designs. I'm gonna grab this washi tape to mark out like that these are the days that I'm gonna be on this road trip. So I'll go ahead and write down um, some of those plans. And I'm gonna grab my sticker book where I store some of my stickers and mark those birthdays so let me pull up this mickey or mini sticker and i'll pop this right here in the corner and i'll grab a mickey one for uh, my friend armand uh, oh no this one's kind of stuck perfect let's pop that here on the 29th and i kind of want to grab this gold happy birthday like banner and pop this right there and then another one right here as well kind of overkill but i like it oh my gosh i totally messed that up i second guessed my writing and now it, it totally messed up okay let me just grab some stickers i think that would be fun and easy and i need to use up as many stickers as possible so i'll just grab these Okay, and then I'm gonna grab my um, All in a Season Mega Sticker Book, and I'm gonna find a, a nice Thanksgiving sticker. Here we go, Thanksgiving, right there. So 24 Thanksgiving, I'll just pop that right on the top there. And let's see. Um, 25th is Black Friday, so maybe I should make a note of that. Let me grab my, um, actually, I'll grab my Disney Seasonal, and I'm gonna grab one of these, and this is gonna be my Black Friday box, because I do plan on going to some stores. I think I'm gonna get a Cricut, so I'm really excited for that. I really like these pumpkin stickers. They're so cute. These are really puffy. What if I lay them on the top here? Wouldn't that be beautiful? I love that. Okay, let's put that there. And then maybe some leaves on the top here. Perfect. Oop. I need scissors. These are really thick, poofy stickers. Okay, like that. Perfect. Oops, it's upside down. I can add this little piece that didn't fit on this side. 
Wow, love it, love it already. I love big poofy stickers. Okay, so Seasons of Color, this sticker that says joy begins with gratitude. Um, I think this is very much like a Thanksgiving inspired sticker. So I'm thinking maybe here or here. What do y'all think? Maybe here because this takes like the least amount of days. Yeah, I'm gonna put this, ah, maybe I'll move it a little to the side too. Something like this. That way I'm only covering up like um, one day. Yeah, I like it. There we go. And I can trim the, the little bit that is falling off the page here. I really like this cornucopia here, this puffy cornucopia. So I'm gonna put it right right here. I love it. Black Friday. And the puffy little s turkey sticker. I'm gonna have to do that. Yeah, I don't like how I, um, I don't like this sticker at all. <laughs> it looks so bad. Let me peel that up. Let me grab another one. I just did not like how I wrote Black Friday at all. It just, it just looked so bad. So, um, I'll off-center it a little bit, like so, and then I'll write it again. Okay, I do really want to pull for one of these fall stickers, so I'm thinking happily grateful, and then maybe I'll put this right here. Ah, no, it's so crooked. Oh, no. <gasps> now it's stuck. It's stuck and it's crooked. <laughs> Should I use undo? I feel like... Oh, should I do it? It's gonna bug me, but it's gonna bug me. I should do it. I should just do it. Oh my goodness, that was traumatic. That was super, super traumatic. But it's okay. We're moving on. We're moving on from it. I really want to use these stickers from Essential Seasons because they are just too cute not to use. So, should I put this here? <gasps> Pumpkin kisses, harvest wishes. Have a thankful heart. Let's add this one, maybe. Um, let's see, let's see. And of course, I have these pumpkins. Um, I don't want it, it to be like too October-y, too Halloween-y, but at the same time, I want to use these pumpkins. <laughs> So we're gonna try to sprinkle them throughout the page. I kind of want to layer these two together, like so. Have a thankful heart, like so. Maybe add another one right here. maybe layer one of these squishy quotes there's always something to be thankful for like so I feel like I'm quickly reaching sticker capacity so we're gonna have to think carefully about any additions any more additions to this page because oh, it, it fills up really really fast <laughs> What about this thankful sticker? Is that too much? Because I do like, you know, writing um, in these monthly spreads. Like, I like writing um, things that happen during the week. You can see I kind of I kind of write in the days that I have room. Not always, but I do like to do that. So I do like to leave some room. Um, but I also want it to be like a nice balance of, you know, enough room and and just fun stickers so i think what i think what i might do is use the rest of these stickers actually um i think that would be fun so maybe i'll put this i kind of want to add this pumpkin here here at the bottom and then i'll sprinkle the rest of these stickers throughout the spread and i think that way It'll, it'll look full and I'm not adding any more like big stickers, so. Okay, should I use this thankful sticker up here? Should I do it? 
Should I put it right here? Is that too much? What about right there? I, I don't like it covering up mini. Um, I kind of like having it up here. I think it looks cute. Okay, we're gonna do it. We are going to do it. Um, after all, like if I want to write about, you know, what happened those days, I always have the weekly view. So we'll add that there. Is that crooked? I feel like that's crooked. <gasps> I feel like that was kind of crooked, y'all. Oh well, whatever. So we'll just sprinkle the last of these leaves. Um, and that is it for the sticker page. And let's see. Do I want to add any more of these puffy stickers? I think I'm going to hold on to these. I don't have to use every single one. Okay, just let's just use this little thanks sticker. It's so cute though, I had to. Okay, let's put this little thanks sticker. It's super cute. Um, let's put it right there. Okay, I love how it turned out. I think it's plenty of room for me to write, but also lots of decoration to make me actually want to flip here and to add to this. I think it looks super, super cute, and I'm beyond ecstatic with my November divider. It looks really, really, really cute. I love it. Very Thanksgiving, very seasonal. And I was going to set up this, um week but i think that's gonna have to wait for another video because this is already an hour long but let me know what you think about my monthly divider for november and my month setup i would love to know let me know what you're planning to do for thanksgiving and i hope you know you have a wonderful month of november i hope to see you in my next video so until then stay safe stay blessed and happy planning bye